I have a salesperson that is incredible. Uh, to the best that I can estimate, over the last uh, 18, 19 years he's worked for me, he's sold over $50 million worth of product. And there is something he does that he starts every single uh, meeting, you know, client meeting with, that I think is instructional. And so I'll share that with you in just a second here. Hi, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jason Peterson from Noggin, where we turn what's in our head into processes, learning together how to build business systems that stick. Here's what this salesperson does. Uh, it's a, a fellow by the name of Tyson. He's uh, one of my heroes, to be honest with you, because he's so effective at what he does. And when he taught, when he shared this with me, and I've I've observed it many times. At first, I thought that's a little bit strange because it almost feels backwards. But then, once I started thinking about it, it makes total sense. When he first meets with the client, he pulls them in for the first time. So he sells lighting fixtures, uh, so like chandeliers and stuff for your home. And he's done it for so long, uh, he knows more about light uh, than light itself. <laughs> like he knows pretty much every fixture. He can look at something and tell you where it came from, how much lights they put out, everything. But that's not the secret to his success. There are a lot of people uh, that are super duper experts in lighting, for example. But when he meets with a client, he'll bring them in and he asks them for permission to do something. So he'll say to them something like, okay, uh, I hope that it's okay with you, but I've spent a lot of time in lighting and I've learned there's something that you're putting together in your lighting package that I think you're going to be unhappy with down the road. I'm going to just tell you that. Uh, I'm going to make suggestions because I've been doing this for a long time uh, and I've seen enough mistakes and I've seen enough really amazing outcomes that I feel like I kind of owe it to you, to be honest, even if it's something that you might not like to hear. And that that just saying that asking for permission to be honest and offer his uh, profound expertise is a huge huge difference maker and people immediately trust him in ways that uh, you know is remarkable and so there are a few reasons behind this five things that I think that does uh, that uh, let's just go through really quickly when he asks for permission to be direct and honest and maybe even a little bit disagreeable not disagreeable, but disagreeing if you're trying to pick something that he thinks will be a mistake. First, it shows confidence. Uh, you know, he that, that's say, that says, I'm not going to be a pleaser. Uh, I'm confident in what I do and I'm confident in what I have to offer. Uh, and that makes a big difference. A good, confident salesperson who isn't trying to dupe you. And uh, that's another thing about Tyson. He's very, very sincere. He's not trying to dupe you. Uh, is a lot of times an ally and you appreciate that they know what they're talking about. And that's the second thing is it demonstrates expertise. You wouldn't say that if you didn't actually have something that you could point to and say, okay, I've seen this. I've seen this. There was a house that did this or they tried that. He's done it long enough that he can be very real about things that he's seen work, things that he's seen not work. And he's going to give you that so you don't have to make all of those same mistakes. The third thing is it actually generates trust. Uh, our culture has gotten to where by default, we don't trust each other. We're skeptical. We just assume that somebody is trying to win one over on us or use us. Uh, and it's sad that it's gotten that way, but it, it really is. And so starting out with, I'm going to ask you permission to kind of disagree with you, <laughs> right? Uh, or at very least tell you things you may not like to hear. What that says is at the very least, I'm not going to, to lie to you to earn a commission. Um, and, uh, and I think that's uh, critical. Uh, there is also a relationship of equal respect. Uh, and that's the fourth thing is it actually starts to set the tone that I'm not, you know, we're not like client or cu customer and salesperson. And some people think that that is, uh, you know, an unequal relationship. He's not afraid to say, I'm going to treat you as a peer and I want you to treat me as a peer. But we have different life experiences and different experience in general. And so there's an equality there that allows people to now join on the same side of the table and solve a problem together as opposed to wrestling back and forth. Well, is it going to cost too much and yada, yada. They actually solve the lighting question together. And then the last thing is, is that it smells the exact opposite of commission breath. <laughs> I heard that phrase from uh, one of my good friends, Brandon Grover. He actually uh, had a very successful um, pest control uh, sales company and then did te technology for pest control, super successful. And one of the things that I heard from him frequently is the people that sell effectively don't have commission breath. They don't just stink like the, all they care about is winning a commission. And so starting out by saying, hey, I might 
uh, tell you to do things that will help you save money, help you be happier, uh, is the opposite of, I'm going to say whatever I can to get you to spend the most so that I can earn the biggest commission. So those are five things that I've seen out of somebody who has probably sold, I know that he's within the top five or six uh, lighting salespeople in North America, and he's probably sold over $50 million worth of lights just while he's been part of our company. And so hopefully that's something that you gain from in your business.